if and when they make a sequel to the Mortal Kombat movie. Can I be like Liu Kang's younger brother or something? This epic interview with Ludi Lin, aka Liu Kang, is brought to you by G Fuel, baby. The brand new Mortal Kombat flavors. That's right, Segway, Mortal Kombat related. It all makes sense. We got that Sub Zero Ice Shatter flavored, which is a fusion of citrus and frost, baby. And we got that Scorpion Sting. What is this flavor all about? It's a mango and spice G Fuel fusion. So if you guys want some great tasting energy formula that is, did I mention no sugar? Yeah, these things, no sugar, great taste. Get some G Fuel, or if you're a Mortal Kombat collector like myself, get them and put them on your shelves because they are pretty cool. They're Mortal Kombat related. Buy everything Mortal Kombat, G Fuel Edition, what you know about it. So click the link in the description, pick you guys up some G Fuel tubs or the Mortal Kombat G Fuel can. That's right, the Ice Shatter and Scorpion Sting do come in G Fuel cans. So if you're not all about that powder and water shaking life, there are actual cans with the flavors, so get them. Click the link in the description and get yourself some Mortal Kombat G Fuel, baby! I told you guys big things are coming to the channel. You guys didn't believe me. Well, guess what? Here's one of the big things. I'm interviewing my homeboy, my best friend, Ludi Lin, aka Liu Kang from the Mortal Kombat movie. What? You didn't believe me? You didn't believe me we were best friends? Ludi, say what's up. Hey, best friend, what's up? <laughs> well, first of all, thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your day to do this little interview chat with us we do appreciate you the cage fam appreciate you so thank you so much for that love the fam man i love to be one of the fam thank you we're gonna start off with the cage fam questions first question says what was your reaction when you got casted as Liu kang uh knowing that this character is super iconic super beloved was there any pressure what what were you feeling living the dream man it really was living the dream you know it's like um it made the whole childhood mean something all those hours spent watching Power Rangers meant something, and all those hours wasted away playing video games really meant something. Uh, yeah, it was a heck of a ride because I skateboarded to my audition and I fell off the skateboard. Oh, really? I got run over by a car. So I walked in there pretty hurt. I think it might have helped in the end because I got cast in the role. Um, but yeah, it's all good. We got beat up a lot, so it might have fit just right in. Wow, on a skateboard. That's awesome. Playing the role of Liu Kang is one thing, but looking the role is a different thing. And from the trailers, from the images, Ludi, you look like your next level fitness goals right now. What was your workout regimen like? What was your diet? If there was any uh, change to that? Look, here's uh, maybe a little known fact um, that might not be told in video games in the movie, but Liu Kang, at least my version of Liu Kang, he's vegan. Okay. So, <laughs> Because Liu Kang, I mean, Liu Kang kills people, but he never kills the innocent. Okay, yeah, so makes sense. So that includes animals. Mm -hmm. So definitely as a Mongolian uh, Shaolin monk, uh, he doesn't want to hurt animals. So that's one. Um, and actually it, it is a healthy way to live and it clears the mind. So, you know, it goes along with the territory that way. Uh, otherwise, it was a lot of button smashing, man. I, you know, I had, I had, I found my Sega Genesis. I fired up the MK2. That's what's what up. I started with. And then um, I only played Liu Kang. There wasn't many characters. And then I decided to buy a Switch and get MK11. And there was a lot more characters. Oh, yeah. And still, I only played Liu Kang. And he still has the same moves that's been, yeah. that he's been doing for 30 years, man. Liu Kang is not a jack of all trades, mm -hmm. a master of none. He's really focused. And he just focuses in on those moves. And he's like kicking ass more than ever. In the Mortal Kombat movie, from the little trailer that we got, uh, it shows a lot of like iconic things that characters do from the video games, which I love. And I think the fans love that too. I know you're a very busy guy. Uh, like I said, you know, you got the Mortal Kombat movie coming out and you just got casted in CW's Kung Fu. Congratulations on that, by the way. Um, what do you do in your free time, if you have any? I don't want free time, man. Free time is boring. Vacations are so boring. I love what I do. And I love, um, there's always something to do, like talking to you guys, watching fan reactions. And that's a part of it, you know? Um, I really embrace that. It's not, uh, I asked for it. it. I never dreamed of being able to do this at this level, but now I have it. I'm not gonna reject it. So I embrace it all. Um, and free time is, I mean, what's it good for? 
it's free. I give that away. Great points. Great points there. What was the last TV show slash movie you watched? I just watched Keanu. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that the one yeah. with, uh... with with Jordan Peele? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I think I'm a cute cat. How was that? I was just watching that. Yeah, it's not bad. It's really good. Okay. Actually. And then um, and then in, you, you, you know, I played through MK11 on Liu Kang, uh -huh. um, but there's various endings, right? Yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah. And then so recently I also caught up on there's an eight hour version of the Liu Kang or the MK story. Line okay. Online. So we watched through that as well. Man, I, uh, I mean, that's four movies in there already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. We gotta catch up and make some sequels. Speaking of films, have you seen any of the previous Mortal Kombat films? All right, uh, I I've seen both the previous Mortal Kombat films. Um, I I saw Scorpion's Revenge. Okay, okay. Uh, that's another one I watched recently as well. Um, I mean, the first one really blew my mind. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it really blew my speakers and my mind at the same time. <laughs> and and the second one, I loved them both at the time. Um, when I started the movie, I didn't go back and rewatch the movie. Uh, Mortal Kombat to me is like a karmic wheel. You know, at first yeah. the way it started and then it ended somewhere around what, Mortal Kombat 9? Mm -hmm. And then got rebooted, right? Another yeah. Realm Studios started the reboot. And it's like another wheel going. And now we're doing it again. Mm -hmm. It's just a cycle. Same with like the storyline of the Outworld challenging Earth Realm and all those tournaments. It's like yep. a real wheel going over and over and over again. So in our rendition of the movie, the wheel restarts and we we have a lot of the the lore that's in the Mortal Kombat universe in there, but some of the stuff is revamped, right? Like um like a director talked about this concept of the arcana, this inner truth in each Mortal Kombat warrior. Um so I did not go back and rewatch the movie for that reason. I didn't want it to influence me in any way. Um, but selfishly, I also didn't want that childhood memory to be <laughs> altered in any way. But after we wrapped the movie, I saw the first one and I'm happy to report to you guys that I love it just the same as ever. I think, I think and, everyone can agree, uh, that the first one is still to this day, super iconic, super loved. Now I'm glad that you didn't go back and watch the second one because the second one whoo -hoo, does not hold up. So, oh uh, really? <laughs> no. I have to do that someday. And there might be another reaction video. Oh, that. we we would watch that. If you do a reaction to that, we will watch it for an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like you actually have uh, a lot of knowledge for the MK series. Did you have? A lot of this knowledge going into the movie. Did you know about the games? Did you play the games when you were younger? I played Mortal Kombat 2 religiously, and then I took like a 20-year break, <laughs> okay. and then restarted when I when I got casted. Restarted and and started playing Mortal Kombat 11 and then Ultimate, of course. Um, but I only play one character. I've only I mean, that's the only character you gotta play right now. <laughs> the last only character. I remember when I I was playing Mortal Kombat 2. When it first came out, Liu Kang and Sub-Zero were two <laughs> of my go-to characters because I always liked that idea of fire and ice. You know, it's like the song of ice and fire battling each other out to see of who wins. Um, so in this movie, you guys might find out. Ooh, ooh. You have been in super legendary series such as Power Rangers, which I love Power Rangers and Mortal Kombat. People know that. And you star in both Power Rangers and Mortal Kombat. One of my favorite DC superheroes is Aquaman. You star in that too. Like you're just hitting all the check marks here, Ludi. You're starring in all these legendary iconic series. Is there one that you would love to be a part of if they made a movie for? Oh God. I don't want to jinx it, but you know, like, um, I guess one word. If they're actually doing it and doing it right, for sure. Uh, but maybe, I don't know, maybe bleep that out. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep that on the download. <laughs> Keep that between me all right, and you. all right, all right, all right. Guess what I said. Okay, because, yeah, we'll uh, bleep that out, guys. Sorry, exactly. sorry. Only we know, we know. Ooh, oh, it's right. a good one too. It's a good one, right? It's a good one. So those were the Cage Fam questions. Now it's time for my questions. Uh, so it's gonna you. You better get ready because these are some tough ones. All right. all right. I saw that extremely, extremely cute video of your mom reacting to the MK trailer. That was that. It made me smile the whole time. Were your family supportive of you? when you want to become an actor because my family 
when I told them I want to pursue in, you know, gaming and videos, they weren't the biggest supporters, but now they're my hugest fans. So were your family supportive of your uh, acting career at the beginning? Yeah, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> and that's something that we got to change for the next generation, mm -hmm. you know, because all these things are important, right? Like telling stories, like getting into arts. This is what it's all about in the end, because I think when we first started as like, walking apes we didn't we didn't come up with the concept of money till much much later mm -hmm. so accounting didn't exist till much much later but we started telling stories right away so this is what we're about uh it communicates uh much further than just practical things mm -hmm. you know and don't worry about the parents um don't worry about your parents because now now they're your babies <laughs> i didn't know how my mom got so cute <laughs> I mean, she's probably more popular than me on the internet right now. And I want to do more videos with her because you know how when people meet your parents, mm -hmm. they're always like, oh, they're so nice. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. And you know the truth though. Oh, 100%. Right? 100%. 100% you know the truth. But right now you can, you can, you're, you're, you're grown enough to look at them through other people's eyes. So just do that. Just tell them not to worry. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm you're happy and that's all they want to hear. And then show them that you didn't waste your time in your childhood playing video games and you didn't waste your time watching cartoons and you didn't waste your time watching Power Rangers. All that means something. And my mom did not mean to throw shade on Power Rangers and Aquaman, <laughs> by the way. She was just as excited when she went to those premieres. That's my favorite thing to do is to bring bring her to those things because it actually makes it real for her. Yeah. Because sometimes she still doesn't think it's real. Like mm -hmm. sometimes I don't think it's real. But um, yeah, it's just that she wants me to, to grow. That's all. Second question of mine is, did you keep or borrow anything from the set of Mortal Kombat? Uh, okay. So in terms of Liu Kang's costume, it's quite practical. It's yeah. very minimalistic yeah. because he's a Mongolian monk, right? right? So there's there's two that's been shown, and one I call the Lone Wolf, which mm -hmm. is the one he gets into the garb and okay. when he goes outside to venture out, right? Okay. Um, when he's on the roam, uh, the second one I call the White Lotus. Ooh, all it's right. His white garb that just got shown, and um, it's his champion garb. Uh, garb. So that being said, I did not keep. Mm, much of the costume okay <laughs> there was one thing that i put in there uh that i talked about with our our costume makeup department that i wanted to keep for myself was i i don't know if you can see it in the movie but Liu Kang's iconic red color yeah i had a piece of string that i braided into my hair oh okay right in the back here and it just symbolized some something for me personally symbolized something for Liu Kang just to connection to tie together so i brought that piece of string back with me that's, that's all. cool that's cool i always uh you know thought like if i was on a movie set you know there's so many cool things everywhere you know do you borrow do you i mean you know, yeah borrow do you take anything that's cool that's cool oh yeah and sub-zero sword it's uh sitting in my living room are you serious no <laughs> i was gonna be like oh Maybe. joe's uh joe's gonna be asking you a couple no, questions seriously. there <laughs> last question from my uh list here if and when this movie breaks records because we all know mortal kombat's gonna crush it all right and they make broke a, records it baby. already Thank did with the most viewed red band trailer of all times i watched the trailer at least a million so you're welcome thanks, for that th thanks to you guys seriously when i when i saw the trailer i was uh taken aback because i had seen so many things that uh while we're filming you're, you're you're just so into it that you can't really take a step back and feel it when i saw the trailer I really got taken aback by other um, actors' performances, by the whole thing, how our director pieced it together. It really told a story in the trailer. But it was not until I saw the compilation of everybody's videos that you guys really got me, man. You guys, seriously, you guys really got me. So that's what it's all about, I think. I, I think uh, we can all say we waited very long for the trailer to drop, um, and it was definitely worth the wait because I definitely teared up watching it. So, um, great stuff on that one. But my question is, if and when they make a sequel to the Mortal Kombat movie, can I be like Liu Kang's younger brother or something in the film? Or is like, you know, cousin of Liu Kang? I don't know. I, you know, a guy in the background. What, what are we talking about here, Ludi? 
Hey man, where are you cuz? Oh, <laughs> it's already happening. It's already happening. Okay, already so done. now the fun part here. This is called rapid fire questions. Fire with Liu <laughs> Kang. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Cats or dogs? Uh, cats. Best subject in school? Well, shoot. Um. <laughs> I, I didn't do so well in school. Mortal Kombat. Okay. Uh, favorite food? Um, broccoli soup. Oh, okay. Uh, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter? Oh. Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter? I mean, now Mortal Kombat, obviously. There we go, but there we go. Never make a Street Fighter movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does pineapple belong on pizza? Yeah. Oh, yeah. fantastic, fantastic. Do you have any hidden talents? Yeah, I can blow bubbles with my spit off my tongue. Oh, could you demonstrate? <laughs> oh, it came off. I saw it, I saw it. Ludi, you answered all the questions. The Cage fan appreciates you being here. I gotta say, guys, Ludi is one of the, the nicest, kindest guys out there. Literally, I was sleeping at like 11 and I got a DM from Ludi saying how, you know, my videos made him laugh and uh, I really, you know, that made my whole night. Um, so thank you so much for taking your time and uh, doing this little interview for us. Ludi, do you have any last words for the Cage fan before we wrap this up here? Yeah, well, you guys make my day. So it's my pleasure to make your days and nights and let's keep it rolling. Mortal Kombat. Yes. And uh, make sure you guys check out Mortal Kombat coming to theaters and HBO Max April 16th. I'll be watching it so many times you guys uh we're breaking more records Ludi. we're breaking more records when this movie comes out so can't wait for it but Ludi, thank you so much for joining us and uh before we wrap up here can you say our catchphrase all right this is Ludi lin and you just got caged Woo, let's go awesome right, Ludi. thank you so much okay.